in this video, we're going to find the value of the integral between zero and two of two x times the square root of x plus two dx. As this is an integral of an expression with two functions in it, the two x and the root x plus two, we're gonna use integration by parts to solve this. So here's our formula for integration by parts. It's the integral of u dv by dx dx is equal to uv minus the integral of v du dx dx. I'm going to start by integrating without the bounds. We'll put the bounds on at the end once we've found our integral. To use our integration by parts, one of the things to check is can we integrate both of these individual functions? Well, yeah, we can integrate 2x, we could integrate root x plus 2. But the other thing is, if we differentiated either of these functions, would it make it a lot easier to use? Well, the differential of 2x is just 2. This is going to simplify it a lot. So what we're going to do is we are going to let our u equal 2x, which means our dv by dx is going to equal the rest of the expression, root x plus 2. If we now differentiate 2x to get du by dx, well, that's equal to 2. And we're going to integrate dv by dx to find our v. So remember, the square root of x plus 2 is the same as x plus 2 to the power of a half. So to integrate, we're going to raise that power by 1 and divide through by the new power. So we get that v is equal to 2 thirds x plus 2 to the power of 3 over 2. Now we've got these, we can put them into our formula and start to integrate. The first part of the formula is the uv part. So we're gonna do two x times by the two thirds x plus two to the power of three over two. So that becomes four x over three times x plus two to the power of three over two. And remember this part is out of the integral now. We're then gonna subtract the integral of v, which is the two thirds x plus two, three over two times by du by dx, which is just two. So that two thirds at the beginning has become four thirds. I've brought that out in front of the integral. You can leave it in if you like, it doesn't matter. It's a personal preference. We've now got something where that integral, we can do that. It's just x plus two to a power, nice and easy. So the first part stays the same. Our integral, we raise the power three over two, that becomes five over two, and we divide by it. So we've got our two fifths there. And then we've got our c on the end. Simplifying this, we end up with our integral being 4x over 3 times x plus 2 to the 3 over 2 minus 8 fifteenths times x plus 2 to the 5 over 2 plus c. And we can now put our bounds back on and solve this. So here we are of our bounds. We put it in the square brackets with the 2 and the 0 on the end. And what we're going to do now is we're going to substitute the 2 in and then we're gonna take away the same thing, but with the zero in there. So substituting the two in, the four x over three becomes eight over three, the bracket becomes four, to the power of three over two, and then the second term becomes eight fifteenths times four to the power of five over two. We're then gonna subtract the same expression, but with zero substituted in. So the first term well, that begins with four x over three. So if we put zero into that, that just becomes zero and the second term becomes 8 fifteenths times two to the power of five over two. Simplifying this gives us 64 over three for the first term, minus 256 over 15, plus 32 root two over 15, which all comes together to give a final answer of 32 over 15 times by two plus root two. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.